Hello everybody, welcome to Betafish News Channel. Um, we're going to go over the butterfly beta, the shocking truth about it. Uh, basically the butterfly beta is a really an amazing looking fish and we see a picture here. Um, basically uh, there's so many different types of betas. Mustard gas, black orchid, paradise placat, we've done a lot of articles on them. Um, so what a butterfly beta is, it's a type of beta that's been bred that way and it, like the wings look like a butterfly, so it's really interesting. Um, as there's so many beta breeds and types, it's kind of frustrating because you add marketing with science and there's so many names for the same fish. Maybe they're not diagnosed right. Um, this is kind of the thing about butterfly beta is that it's really tough to identify some of them. And sometimes the stores will call it something and somebody else will call it a different thing. So that's the tricky part about betas, but it's not really a problem unless you start breeding and selling them yourself. Uh, so we're going to go over some information on how to take care of a butterfly beta. Um, as they are very similar to other betas, there's lots of different things that apply to most betas, so the butterfly beta is one of those. So keep your water right and your diet tight, which is kind of our slogan here at Beta Fish News Club. So water is the lifeblood of the tank. Fish are cold-blooded, so they actually use water to move around in, obviously, but to cool themselves down and to get oxygen. The betas do have a labyrinth organ, which allows them to breathe air. That's why they go to the top, but they also do consume air in the water. Um, the temperature of the water is very important. 76 to 82, you want to have a good heater, good filter to move the water around and not get too cold because it could even kill them. Cleanliness is huge. You want to put a good filter, sponge filter, have good pH levels that you monitor. And you also want to use tank plants and moss as they are kind of like filters. We did a video on um, some good tank mates for three gallon tank here. You'll see this, the link in the description. Uh, basically, placos or quarries are good tank mates because they're also good cleaners. Diet is very important. You want a high protein, 40% protein high quality pellets or flakes. The uh, cheaper flakes have air in them which can cause constipation which can lead to something called swim bladder disease which is hard to diagnose but we did a video on that too. You'll see the link. Um, basically butterfly betas are like most betas. You don't want to put two males together. Uh, you can put females and males in the tank but you want to also check and not have too many in there. They're not the best swimmers, but they do like to hide and play around, so you want to have good cover and caves for them. Also, they can fly out of the tank, they're jumpers, so you want to have a good lid system. We did a, uh, another thing is boredom. Some people think loneliness is a problem, but it's more like boredom is the main problem, so you want to have toys and keep them stimulated so that they stay healthy. We did another video on beta hammock and other toys. Here is the blue butterfly beta which is one of the most popular ones. It's a half moon butterfly beta, which is uh, the, describing the tail. So that's kind of the basics of how to take care of the butterfly beta. If you want to download this guide, please visit our website, Beta Fish News Club, uh, sign up on our main site, and we will s just put what, what PDF guide you want, and we will send it to you. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.